Hello, and welcome to Dr. Bo. Today we are interviewing five individuals starring in The Great Gatsby. First off today we have Jay Gatsby. Jay, how are you? I'm doing great on support. How about yourself? Oh, I'm doing fine. Uh, so, uh, tell me about your path to wealth. Well, most of my money came from my family, who were very wealthy and are now deceased, and I inherited the money. So, uh, did you go anywhere to get educated? Yes, I was raised in America, but I educated in Oxford. Well, you know, there are some stories I've heard about you, and I was just wondering, what, what is the truth? Well, the truth is, I, I was raised on a farm by a poor man. I came into wealth after meeting a man who taught me named Dan Cody. I sat on his yacht with him for five years until he died. So, Jay, are there any loves in your life right now? There is one, but that was long ago. Her name was Daisy. Daisy? Well, uh, that's interesting, because she's up next on Dr. Bo. Hello, and welcome back to Dr. Bo. Now we have uh, Daisy with us. So, Daisy, how are you? I'm doing good, <laughs> as always. So, uh, so Daisy, Gatsby, Gatsby told us that he's in love with you. Yes, no, but that was so long ago. Uh, it feels like Gatsby doesn't feel that way. I still love him, but it's whatever. <laughs> so, uh, so why did you marry Tom then? Tom had money and Gatsby didn't. I was convinced he was the better man. But I was the fool, as you can see. <laughs> so, uh, so would you rather be with Tom or Gatsby? <laughs> I would much rather be with Gatsby. Then, uh, wh why don't you, uh, divorce Tom and be with well, Gatsby? Well, that's the plan. And now for our next guest, we have Tom Buchanan. Tom, how, how are you? I'm doing pretty fine. Oh, that's great. So, uh, we were just, uh, talking to your wife, Daisy, and you know, have you heard anything suspicious about her and Gatsby? Yes, I have, but I haven't done anything yet. Well, why haven't you done anything about it? I'm doing research on Gatsby right now. That will uncover who he really is. I'm totally so, uh, have you found anything out yet? I found out that he came into his wealth through bootlegging. Wow. That's shocking. Uh, but, you know, there's one thing that we heard was that you're having, in a, having an affair. That's true. I'm married with That's a woman married to a garage owner. Uh, so, uh, what's her name? Sorry, I won't say that. Fair enough. Um, so, Tom, how'd you come into your wealth? I inherited money when my family died. Oh, that's that's good. Um, so, do you do you really love Daisy? I do, not as much as I should. All right, Tom. Well, thanks. That's all. That's all we needed from you today. So, uh, on to our next guest. And now we have our last guest of the day, Nick Carraway. Hi there, bud. Thanks for having me. Hey, it's no problem at all, bud. So, uh, why'd you come to the New York area? I moved because of my work, but I really just wanted a new experience. So, you like it here so far? Yeah, it's exciting, but I do miss the West, and I feel like I belong there. Uh, so, where exactly do you live? I live in a cottage. It's like right next to Gatsby's mansion. So, uh, Nick, do you uh, know anything about uh, Gatsby and Daisy? Well, a little bit. I mean, I, I, I helped him get started a little bit. Oh, you did? So, did you help him get started uh, back before, or just recently? Just recently, actually. Oh, okay. Well, do, uh, do you think that they'll end up working out? I, don't, I can't really tell, but I think it's a better fit than Tom and Daisy. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's understandable. So, uh, how'd you get them back to, you know, talking? Well, Gatsby actually confronted me about it, and uh, he asked me if I could invite him and her to tea over at my house. So, it'd be a little less awkward, but... I, uh, I said I would, and I did, and then we actually ended up going over to his house, but I left her and him there alone, and oh. I went back to my house. That's, that's interesting, that's interesting. I mean, so how do you feel about moving back to the Midwest, or? Well, to be honest, I'm not really liking it here right now. Everyone that I'm kind of hanging out with, they're all kind of crazy. Yeah. It's just really crazy here, too much excitement for me, so I think I might move back, yeah. Yeah, well, I, I wish for the best for you, bud. Thank you. All right, guys, so that's it for Dr. Bo. Named Dan Cody. I sailed on his yak. Whoa. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do this, man. I can't do this. Oh, Gatsby's <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to oh, Dr. Bo. Oh, 
Wait, ago. we're starting all over again? Yeah. yeah. Oh, why can't we just cry? Yeah. We have Nick Carraway. Hi there, Dr. Bell. Let's <laughs> crack. Oh, so, you know, you've probably heard of Gatsby's parties. Have you have you been to one of them before? Yeah, I've been to many, but I don't really know if I like them. Oh, that's understandable. That's I mean, all I do, still parties. You just screwed that whole thing. Uh-uh. <laughs> she's up next. Oh, dang it. Meeting a man who taught me named Dan Cody. I sit on his yacht with him for five years until he died. Boom, baby! <laughs> Boom! Nailed it!